Questions seem to come in ways, and lately I've got a lot of questions about confusions over lens sizes. Like your eyeballs, lenses have a field of view, in other words, how much the lens can see up, down, left, and right. That's the field of view, and that is specified by the lens's focal length specified in millimeters. That measurement is from the middle of the lens to the point of focus that the lens provides. When you change the focal length, such as using a longer or shorter lens, you're changing the distance from the middle of the lens to where it focuses. And if you haven't guessed, that focus point is the sensor in your camera. You may have been confused about the terms normal lens, telephoto lens, and wide-angle lens. A normal lens is considered to have a field of view approximately the same as the human eye, as if you were standing there looking at the scene. Obviously, the lens doesn't have your peripheral vision, which is why it's an approximation. The higher millimeter lens you use, the field of view gets narrower, showing less in the view and the magnification gets larger than normal. Things far away look closer. The shorter the millimeter lens you use, the field of view gets wider, showing more in the view and the things look further away. Normal view is considered to be a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera like a Canon 5D. Anything above 50 millimeters is considered telephoto and anything smaller is considered wide angle. And note that term, full frame. The image comes through the lens, which is round and projected onto the sensor, which is square. So the image is framed. If you have a smaller sensor, it will crop the image more, giving you a narrower field of view. If I'm on a 50 millimeter lens on my Canon 5D with a full frame, I get 50 millimeters. If I mount that same lens onto a camera with a crop sensor, call that because it crops the image that is considered normal, I won't get 50 millimeters, I will get a larger image and a narrower field of view. It's good to know what the image sensor crop factor is for your camera, and it's easy to find out. This camera has a 1.6 crop factor, meaning if I put this 50 millimeter lens on it, I get a bit of telephoto lens and have nearly the equivalent of this 85 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. That's 50 millimeters times 1.6, which equals 80 millimeters. If I mount this 28 millimeter lens onto my full frame camera, I get a wide angle lens of 28 millimeters. But on this crop sensor camera, I get 28 times 1.6, which is 44.8 millimeters, almost the same as the normal 50 millimeter lens. If you have a crop sensor camera, as many of you do, you decide to buy what's listed as a wide angle lens, you might be surprised that you don't actually get wide angle. If you shoot with longer lenses, meaning telephoto lenses, and have a crop sensor camera, that might be great for you. If I put this 85 millimeter lens on my crop sensor camera, actually shooting more telephoto, 85 millimeter times 1.6, which equals a lens of 136 millimeters. The reverse is true. Say I want a 24 millimeter wide angle lens for my crop sensor camera. I divide 24 millimeters by 1.6 and see I will need a lens something around 15 millimeters to get that. If you have what's called a micro four thirds camera, the crop factor is two. If I mount an 85 millimeter on that, I get 170 millimeters of a telephoto lens. If I want a normal lens, I would get something around 25 millimeters. 25 times two equals 50. If I want something like this 28 millimeter lens on a micro four thirds, that's 28 divided by two, in which case I would need a 14 millimeter lens. This zoom lens is 24 to 105 and on my full frame camera, I get that. On my crop sensor camera, I get 38.4 to 168, which is why I usually bring this camera and lens when I'm out and about shooting photos, as it gives me all the range I need. On a micro four thirds camera, this would be about 48 to 210 equivalent lens. Knowing the type of sensor in your camera, full frame, crop, micro four thirds or something else, and the multiplication factor four will help you buy the correct lens you need without any surprises. I've listed some of my favorite lenses for video shooting in the description below. If you like these videos, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. I hope that helps, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.
So if I'm gonna mount this 28 millimeter lens on this crop factor camera, I simply do the math. 28 times 1.6 is, is I need a calculator.